What's good guys, Norman Tools back with another video and today I'm going to be doing a review on my Adidas Ultra Boost. The video today is going to be a bit different as I did film some footage over in Reebok slash Adidas headquarters. I'm not too confident on the footage because I did rush it a little bit because I didn't want to waste too much time with one of our friends who had a busy schedule on the day. So let's go over to that footage now and if I did miss anything I will watch the footage back and I will add it on the end once I get back here. Today I'm over at Adidas headquarters slash Reebok headquarters uh, filming a review for my new Ultra Boost. Last week there was a restock on Adidas. I copped these. This is the core black, core black, core black colorway. I used my 44% discount code to get these, so I only paid £72. This is the Prime Lip version. They are a UK 7. Um, as you all know, they do fit a bit odd, so I should have gone 0.5 up, but I didn't. But hopefully the prime it does stretch and it will allow me to wear them comfortably. But for the next two to three wears, I think I might find them slightly bit uncomfortable. But wearing them on foot, they are so comfy as the boost technology is just there and it's amazing. Talking about the features of the shoe, we've got the prime knit, which is a stretchy, durable material that's made for when you run, it flexes with your feet. Going further down the shoe, we've got the boost technology which obviously you all know about, it's been around for the last couple of years. It's super comfy when wearing these, you just feel like you're walking on clouds. Going to the bottom of the shoe, we've got the Continental Rubber Sole, which apparently in all conditions, wet or dry, you have the same traction. I've not tested this out yet because I haven't worn them, but at the end of this video, I'll be an on foot, just to show you guys what they look like on feet. The last bit of technology on the shoe is the Terizon system, which is, helps the stability of the midfoot. Before I finish the video, I will post an on-foot video and if you want to see any pictures of these, I'll link my Instagram in the description below and I'll be taking some on shots for you. I was just about to finish that video over at Reebok but just before I do, I thought I'd give you a quick update because since filming that footage, I have wore the shoes. Eventually, after about an hour of wearing them, the prime it did stretch a little bit and it eased off on my feet because it was hurting for the first hour and I, that was just because it was a little bit tight and I didn't tie them because of that so they were just loose laced while wearing them. I wore them all day over the weekend on one of the days on the weekend as I was doing some photos for Instagram. Um, I don't think they're my go-to shoe for being the most comfiest. I do prefer Nike still. I was also wearing Air Max 90s today and they're just as comfy. I don't know if other people think that. Let me know in the comments below but for me Ultra Boost are on the level of Air Prestos and Harachis. I'm not a big fan of Adidas, I don't have that many pairs, but they are comfy and I must admit they are, but I'd still go to Nike for a comfy shoe. That was my review on the Ultra Boost. If you do have any opinions on the Ultra Boost over other shoes for being more comfortable, let me know in the comments and if you could give this video a thumbs up and if more than importantly, if you could subscribe to my channel, once I hit a good number, I will be doing a giveaway and I have four brands that I've already involved. So watch this space.